Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to yet another session with Solomon Equiro in the channel Solomon Equiro's channel. Now this is a channel on YouTube and I want to thank all those who have subscribed to this channel already. If you are one of those, thank you so much for the subscription. And for my friends and those who are interested in watching the videos, who do like the videos, who do share the videos, who do have time to drop comments. I want to thank you as well because these um, likes you give and the comments you drop and everything you do go a long way to making this channel to be uh, something which is really, really great and helping to build it and make it much more educative, entertaining and comprehensive to everyone. For those who are joining in for the first time or who haven't had time to subscribe to my channel, I implore you to please spend some minutes, watch a video, listen to what we are discussing, what we are saying, listen to the subjects, listen to the themes we share in this channel, and please make time to subscribe to my channel. Once again, welcome to Solomon Equiro's channel. It's a thing of grace. It's a thing of pleasure. And today, we shall be talking on a very common subject, a very common topic. The topic of today is friendship. A friend. Who is a friend? How do you uh, identify who is a good friend to you? And at the same time, we shall be looking at fake friends. So, how do you know this friend of mine is fake? And how do you know this person is not a real friend? Or how do you know this person is a real friend? So we shall be looking into some of these. Remember, there is no one person who is an, a complete expert in a subject like this. You know, a lot of people have written about friends, have written about friendship. A lot of videos have been made. A lot of um, movies have been produced on the theme friends or friendships or how to make friends and a lot of stuff like that so if you go to google out some of these things you find a lot of information so i just want to present this from a particular perspective which will be a little bit different from what others have done however you can also learn something from here as well as you can learn something from the videos and from the write-ups and from the books and novels people have written on this subject friendship we shall be back ladies and gentlemen stay tuned sometimes in life we meet people you know you are probably on a journey to somewhere and you happen to meet this person who ends up becoming a very, very bosom friend of yours. Uh, sometimes in school, in uh, at the workplace, or in different places, okay? So there is no one best place where you can meet someone and that person becomes a friend, a true friend, or a fake friend. So you meet them everywhere everywhere you meet people everywhere and from this bulk of people you meet every day you can choose to develop friendship with these people okay so it's not just like you meet someone and immediately you say oh you're gonna be my best friend no you meet with that person there is a relationship that steps in you can you, you talk to each other you communicate you know it's a two-way thing there's respect involved there is mutual understanding and there is a, a, a share of values, you know. And as all these things keep building and time walks and kind of prunes your relationship, it grows to where you can say, this person is not just an acquaintance, it's not just someone I met on the road, it's not just anybody. He is a friend of mine. Stay tuned. One more thing we should look at is um, uh, from uh, one more angle, one more angle we should look at on the subject of friendship is uh, the, the fact that you do not decide 
from the bulk of friends or from the bulk of people you meet who will be your friend. And the same way, there are friends that you have. And over time, this friendship, the relationship builds to a point where this friend of yours becomes something like a family to you. You know, with family, it has to do with blood ties. But then this friend you have met, this friend you have made, grows up, this friendship grows up to a point where it becomes like a family. You know, you are so close, you are so united, you are so much into each other. You think, you, you can like almost think of an answer. If asked a question, you can all, almost give an answer that your friend would give if that friend was to be in that situation. That is how close it can get sometimes. So, sometimes both families get to know each other. That is their family member and that member's friend. They get to get so close to each other to a point where both families actually become like two friends as well. So, Person, this person is called, let's say, Peter, and the other one is John. They meet and they become friends. Now, Peter visits John, and while at John's, uh, with John's family, builds a solid relationship with them. And with time, John also visits Peter, and the same thing happens with Peter's family. Then, as time goes on, John's family, John's parents, uh, sisters, John's brothers, John's uh, relations get to go close to the family of John as well. So both families become closer, closer, closer and closer to a point where they end up being what we call family friends. Not just family friends per se as in a neighborhood, but very very close there are relationships between families that can build up and become something really really sweet something really really healthy something marvelous something exciting something with deep roots and deep understanding deep uh, unity you know which all started from two persons meeting becoming friends and extending that love, the grace, the understanding, the honesty, the truth, and the vulnerability between them to affect both families. Friendship is a lot and means a lot. The world is full of a lot of fake personalities, fake characters, fake persons, the world is full of people who do a lot of negative and bad things. But this same world is full of people who love to share grace, who love to share love, who love to share understanding, humility, who love to lend a cup of water, who always want to be out there to help someone, to support people who are lonely, to stand and give a shoulder to someone when they are crying or they need help, who wants to help lift people out from dark days and dark corners, out to light, to limelight, to where people can see them, where their voices can be heard, there are people like that. There are still people on this earth who are good and who can make good friends to you. Irrespective of the bad ones, there are still good people. They may be difficult to find, they may be hard to come across, but they are good people. And I believe if you share goodness into the world, goodness comes towards you. So what you give out, Will definitely come back. The rays you emit into the atmosphere, into the universe, will definitely attract your kind and they will come back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is still a beautiful world. You can still make good friends and you can still have a best tea. Yes, you can. So, in life, we meet friends, we meet people. The people we meet are not our friends but the relationships we build with them end up making us 
friends. So we have the uh, we have the, the window, we have the opportunity to build friendship from nothing. And friendship is sanctioned by time, you know? Friendship is sanctioned by time. So over time, you get to know. Only time can really, really, really dream, filter, and tell you who the person you are with is, actually. So over time, you have the opportunity to understand the other person, to know them, to get to to, to know what their values are, what they stand for. Are they committed? Are they honest? You get to know over time. So time is really, really important when it comes to friendship. You cannot force yourself upon someone. You cannot force yourself to become a friend. And the one thing which I need to mention here, I need to emphasize here, one thing I need to mention really, which is really, really important, Never you let people or anyone to force you to become their friends or to manipulate you to become their friends. Choose your friends. Choose your friends. Select. Decide who will be your friend. Go for them. Walk with them. Commit yourself. Build it and let it grow. Okay, so I have written down some points which I'm just going to, since this is a video and we do not, I do not intend that this video should be a very, very long one. I'm trying, I'm hoping it should be within the window of like say 20 minutes so people can watch it fast and move on to something else. I've written down some points that can help us to understand, to know if the person we think is our best friend is really our best friend. Maybe John, who is my best friend, me, sorry, maybe John may be my best friend, but I am not John's best friend. You know, to me, John is my best friend. To John, Peter is his best friend. You get what I'm saying? And to Peter, it is Timothy who is his best friend. Now, if you are my best friend and I am not your best friend, it won't work the same way. You know, it has to be equal. I trust you, you trust me. There should be vulnerability, the same amount, both ways. I shouldn't confide in you and then you go spill your guts to some other person about me. You, you get my point. So it has to be both ways. Now, how can we, in our own little world, in our own little way, in our own small corner, how can we try to find out if the person we called a best friend is actually a best friend of ours? When you trust them, you understand. So when trust starts coming in, when you trust that person, you can tell that person. Or when you trust that person, sorry, when you trust that person, it makes you understand that that person means a lot to you. If that person trusts you, if that person gives you their trust, then that relationship to that person means something. So you have to respect what that person is doing. When there is consins, uh, consistency, consistency in what the person does, truthfulness is consistent. Commitment is consistent. They talk about you in front of you. They correct you. They tell you things to your face. You work things out together. If this understanding is mutual and consistent, it tells you you're building a relationship to go somewhere. When you interact in multiple ways, not just we meet on a football pitch, we become friends, and it's all about friendship on a football pitch. Or it's all about friendship when it comes to 
um, choir practice. No. It should be in multiple ways. When you are vulnerable to each other, there are things that you know about yourself and you want to keep them a secret that only you should know. But then when you go a step forward to share those things with someone, it has to be with someone you trust. When you share these things with them, or when you share your secrets, you become vulnerable. So friends should be able to be vulnerable to each other. If you're not vulnerable to your best friend, then that person isn't your best friend. It should tell you immediately. If that person cannot make themselves vulnerable to you to a point where they share some, some things about their life with you, share some secrets with you, that tells you they have another best friend or they don't trust you that much to share those facts or those concerns with you. We move along to the next one. They really know you and get you. So the person who you're trying to understand if it's your best friend is someone who knows you and knows how to get you. Ten people may explain something to you and you won't understand. Sometimes your father will speak to you and explain or talk to you in a certain way you won't understand. But when that person, your best friend, talks to you, you understand. They know how to get you and they know you. They know you very well. When you are around your best friend, you feel seen. They know you're there. You feel their presence. Sometimes even if you have a good friend, a really, really good friend, and that friend is not around, you know, physically, you, you don't find them around you. As soon as they happen to be in the vicinity, you can feel that they are around. You can feel the energy. So these are some points that can help you, okay, help you and I to understand if someone is our best friend, that's not just all. We continue with some more points. Uh, when you get motivated by them, when you tell them things first, you know, you want to share things that happen with them first. You want to discuss some hard facts, some hard situations, some difficult situations you might have come across during the day. You want to share with them first before any other person. This tells you your spirit, your soul is opening up to that person and that person may be your best friend or has the potential of becoming a best friend. They are there for you in good times and in bad times. When it's raining, when the sun is so hot, when you're smiling, when you're happy, when you're crying, they are there for you. That is how you know if someone is a best friend. When you share the same values, when your values are the same, you get to understand this person wants to be my best friend or wants to be a very good friend of mine or wants to be very close to me. A best friend should be able and should be willing to commit effort in developing that relationship. If you cannot commit yourself, if you cannot put in any effort to develop a relationship, then you're not ready to become a friend. Talk less of being a best friend. Now, in every relationship, there should be give and take. And this give and take has to be even. You give with the right hand, you take with the left hand. You give with the right, uh, left hand, you take with the right hand. It's give and take. You take advice, you give advice. You take support, you give support. That is how it should be. And funny, but true. Your best friend. You should be able to fight with your best friend. 
Not everything you say, they will accept. Not everything you say, they will say thank you immediately. For some things, on certain subjects, you will have to fight to make your point through. So best friends should be willing to fight. But after fighting, resolve whatever was the challenge, walk through it, or walk over it, or walk under it, or what, how you want to do it, do it. But once you overcome the barrier, once you overcome the challenge that made you fight, you have to become stronger, more united on the other side of the barrier as friends. As a friend, you should be willing to tell the truth to your friend, even if it bites them, even if it hurts them, but tell them in a way they will understand, but let the truth you tell them be the truth. You are the only one who can take them to that point and let them understand. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first part of this uh, series, Friends or Friendship. We have discussed some points that you can use to know if the person who is around you, who is posing as a friend or who wants to be your friend if this person can really be a friend or has the potential to become a best friend we run around trying to have so many friends to impress ourselves and cry when we are all alone we go around trying to make people feel make ourselves feel good in the eyes of the world but back in what back at home back in your little corner you cry and weep that is wrong you should be able to look at each person you meet try to build a relationship try to let that relationship grow and while it grows find out using the points of mentioned if that person has a potential to become your best friend if it is then let the relationship grow. From being a friend, you can become something much more, even a family. Friends, especially of opposite gender, end up sometimes becoming spouses. And if you get married to your best friend, that will be the best thing that ever happened to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for stopping by to listen to this and thank you for staying and watching thank you for being there i am happy if you have any comments please share them below and we'll definitely have to look at these comments and see where we may add one or two things or learn some more from you remember a lot of people have written about friendship a lot of people have talked about friends a lot of people have talked about how to become how to be how to select your friends how to make friends how to do a lot of stuff is out there okay please do not stay alone do not keep yourself from the world the world may be rough and dangerous may be dreary but it is still a beautiful world make some friends be with others Build up companions. Build a good relationship. Make yourself useful to yourself and to your community. Bring people together. Remember, every person you meet is just a character and the story of your life. Thank you very much and have a great time.